guys welcome to my channel this is a channel this is a video about how to preserve masutake i have made a few video earlier on so if you like you can check it out my name is st from st in sweden i have picked a lot guys this days is crazy this masutake is popping like out in the forest like it's like a big party in the forest so yesterday me and LG went to the forest almost the whole day it's like in the afternoon around 11 o'clock and then we pick until almost five o'clock so it's a long long day but we pick <laughs> you won't believe it we pick five big bags you know really big bags of masutake so now I have some that I want to how to want to do how to preserve a video so i thought i'd just jump on and say hi to you guys all right so i'm going to show you how this masutake mushroom is you see how much i got just is this is just one portion of this so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to boil some water over there as you can see boiling water so i'm going to throw some salt and I'm going to explain to you why uh, this is important. Throwing some salt, I'm going to put Himalayan salt. Right? So you guys know, Masutake is well known for its aroma. So I don't want to dry it. I have actually dried a lot yesterday. So I'm going to keep some uh, for stir frying. And I know maybe the Japanese will say, how could she do that? You know? Uh, this is a waste, you know, you have to eat them fresh. Yes, I know that, but, you know, but we have too much. We do not know what to do. And tomorrow we are going away. So I thought I'm going to just, you know, cook this and preserve this. I turn off the heat now because this heat is getting too hot. So for this size, I'm going to just preserve them uh, at it is because I want to be able to eat them like in a hole. So this is very small. So what I do is that with the pot of water getting ready, I'm just going to cut this. You see how beautiful they are? How beautiful. So I'm just going to cut this. These are too small. Then I'm just going to throw them in. Those that are too small, I probably just, you know, throw them in. Because you want to collect the stocks later on. That's why it is on water. So let me just bring you guys closer so you can see, all right? What am I doing here? So I'm going to just get ready with those that I want to cut into two. Some of them are really too big. So I'm going to just cut them. And then sometimes you see those are with a, a bit of insect. So I will just double check and throw them away we don't want the insect but overall the one that we collected yesterday was so good all of them were like i can't believe that we have collected so much so i'm going to throw in those, this patch now all right this is a patch that i'm going to throw in and then I'm just going to continue to cut them. And throw in. Uh, in uh, most cases, in this case, people like to cut them into a s even smaller size because, you know, this will take up a lot of space in the refrigerator. So bear in mind, okay? So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to boil this and you know I could already smell the aroma of this mushroom. It's like taking over the whole house. Uh, and you know me and LG we've been cleaning the whole night when we get back immediately we have to clean them because uh, you know if you don't do that then the insect might attack them. So you want to boil this for just, I've just turned on the heat now. You want to boil this for the, about uh, two to three minutes and then you take out and then you get, you prepare the other batch. 
so it, it was really really fun yesterday me and LG we had a lot of fun in the forest because you know we got so much and I think some of you been asking me good thing also good thing must share so I have dried some and I do not know how the result is so I'm going to see if I if this is successful then if it's successful I might want to sell them so if you're interested let me know okay I'll see if I can uh, ship them to you and uh, drop the only way to do that is to dry them so you can't ship them fresh it will be very very expensive so see so beautiful all of them these are the we in Sweden we call that Golia Masuron because uh, this is another name for that uh, in US you guys those that you found in USA is white one it is uh, I don't know in terms of taste wise how much different it is but I would presume that um, they should be quite similar because they belong to the same type of species so this is extremely good if you want to just stir fry them okay now this is, has been up already so I'm not going to throw away the stocks okay I'm just going to just boil them until it's slightly soft not very very soft and then I'm going to put them aside alright let me just get something that I can pick up uh, I have this bowl here maybe I'll get this one to pick this up it smells it smells so good this house I tell you and then when yesterday we have so much we have to we end up cutting some of them in fact most of them if you percent of them we try to dry them but this is just 20 percent of what we got so you just imagine how much masutake we got now in our storage and i don't even want to think about where to store it because we really don't have enough space to store it and uh, the only way is to you know as to with the drying maybe um is uh not a bad idea like some of you suggest sell it so I'm just going to give this another batch because I don't want to overcrowd this I want to just wash uh, like somehow you know it's like you're washing this also at the same time but at the same time you want to keep the broth because that's the thing that you might need later on it's not might it's that you will need later on so what I do is that I prepare a pot of water here because I'm going to be needing more stock. So while this is cooking, I'm going to keep these stocks, put it at the side, right? So that I can um, freeze it. I'm gonna put them in the ziplock box, uh, zip ziplock bag, and freeze it later on. So some people ask me, uh, how much is it in US dollar? I don't know uh, in pound, but if you want to sell this to a uh, wholesaler you probably get some money quite good money uh, but in sweden because this year is the coronavirus usually we have a group of japanese that come and buy from us and they pay really really high price to get this because this is the type the brown one they like they don't quite like the the white one i don't know why maybe because of the flavor they prefer that one a bit they prefer this one so now this is the second batch yeah i'm going to transfer them over 
So you don't, you don't want to cook them for too long. Okay, until it's like a bit soft, it's enough. Because uh, this has been in the fridge for like more than a month. It might be not so good and tomorrow morning we are leaving uh, to visit a friend. So this can be really, really good. So I'm going to pour my stocks. This is the second batch. So I'm going to pour my stocks with this uh, seed. So that I don't get the uh, rubbish. Uh, you never know. You see, there's a lot of impurity also in the mushroom. So now, second batch. I'm going to pour some cold water because the other water is not ready yet. So, this is what you're going to do. I'm going to turn off this heat now. And I'm going to show you here. Of course, I'm going to continue to do this other batch. So, but now I'm going to show you like this. Okay, you have this stocks. Don't throw it away, okay? This stock is so important. You need them. And then what you do is that you get this zip lock, you know this, this kind of zip lock. So when it is cold, you just put, maybe this one will fit everything, including the stock. You want to freeze them at one whole packet like that with the stock. Because um, you need the stocks because it not only a, a uh, give you good flavors you need that stock if you want to stir fry them you can use them as a stock and also this will help to keep the mushroom soft moist and crunch so you should be able to save this for at least six months to 18 months so you know depending on how often you use it but for me i think I'm eating a lot of mushroom and I plan to give some away to one of my good friends who is a vegetarian. Uh, she's just a little bit for her to try it out because I think it is very, it's a good stuff and I think I want to share this with her too. And she's been giving me a lot of stuff lately so it's time to give back. So remember okay, don't throw them, wait until it is cooled down and then transfer, freeze it immediately. All right, guys, I'm going to just uh, <laughs> see you guys. I'm going to just add some water and then more salt. The salt will help to preserve the, the mushroom a little bit and give this a good flavors. And use a good quality salt, not a bad quality. Uh, I'm using Himalayan salt. So... I think we cannot be uh, stingy about this when it comes to a good quality mushrooms. You want to have everything, you know, perfect. So it's uh, it's 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 really like um, this year is like so fruitful for me. I've been picking chanterelle for many years, and. Uh, and LG asked me, hey, are you not going to pick chanterelle? I said, oh, I, I'm not so interested. Because for me, I prefer the flavors of this mushroom because it's like, you know, you're eating real stuff. You look like, not say that it tastes like meat, but then, you know, because I read so much about this mushroom, it has so many health benefits. And please go and Google the right yourself and find out why I am so in love with this mushroom and I never never stop you know pro uh, not promoting but you know introducing because a lot of people they might have this in the forest and they just don't know that this is bad this one is bad okay this one has to be thrown away okay sometimes sometimes we have to sacrifice like those that are not so good Unfortunately, I know maybe some people say you can keep it still, but we have so and the same those that I have um, uh, dried, we throw like uh, forty percent of those that we we collected yesterday, and I know this is crazy, 
but um, we want to give we want the best quality we don't want to take the grease to you know get ourselves uh, eating <laughs> I know a lot of people might say even LG told me said oh, don't throw it's okay with the, the 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 insects and all that but for me you know I just felt like I don't feel so I'm gonna keep you guys informed all right how this how this is uh, turning out uh, the drying and yesterday let me just show you okay one bit one small small exciting news like a lot of people have been asking me hey SD why don't you sell you know things that you forage okay today I mean I just take two example uh, one example birch tea guys all right this is something that i want to i always dream about uh, sharing and this is one thing that i just developed recently so today i make the packaging and i'm going to be selling this online i think most likely uh local or people who are abroad might want to buy this and they're is just like 15 20 gram so if you're interested let me know i'm going to take photograph and try and put them on the side so i think this patch is ready now i'm just going to just continue to check oh, those really really small ones are so good okay now second batch So I hope you guys enjoy this. If you do, please give a thumbs up. And um, I hope I can see you in my next live streaming. Uh, and thank you so much for participating in my vote. Uh, I think more than 80% of you guys vote for me to go live stream. So thank you again for the vote. And I know what I should do. But maybe not every day. Maybe in an alternate day. You know, I'll do a live streaming so you can stay connected with me and i can stay connected with you all right guys have a nice weekend ahead and i hope to see you in my next video bye bye